In this video, I'm going to talk about why I am so obsessed with protecting my hearing and my ears. So stay tuned, I'll talk about it coming up. Hey, welcome back to the channel, Blind to Billionaire. It's great to have you back with me. So why am I so obsessed with protecting my hearing and my ears as a whole? So Corey and I are actually leaving on vacation early tomorrow morning. And uh, before we left, we thought, you know what? Let's do a whole house, like top to bottom cleaning of the house. So typically we do this every so often. And um, when we do, we both have our we both have our own jobs. And one of my jobs is vacuuming. So I realize vacuuming, you know, it's just, it's whatever. And vacuums aren't that loud. But I was thinking about it when I was vacuuming and thought, okay, I should probably make a video about this. Because when I vacuum, I actually wear earplugs. I realize that sounds really extreme and probably unnecessary. But for me, I'm always doing everything I possibly can to protect my ears and my hearing because as someone with RP and very limited vision, my vision is, you know, very, very limited. I rely on my hearing and what I, just my ears as a whole, so much that if I were to lose any of my hearing or all of my hearing, um, I don't know what I would do. So even people that, you know, have RP or who are blind and have hearing loss or people that have uh, ushers, I don't know how these people function. Like, I, I don't know how you could possibly do it. So I am like obsessively protective of my ears. So when I'm vacuuming, I wear earplugs. If I'm ever using any type of loud tools or I'm somewhere, I'm somewhere that I'm with somebody who's using loud tools or anything, even something like a shop vac, so occasionally I'll go out in the garage and I'll clean up Corey's car, I'll vacuum it all out, and I use a shop vac to do that. When I do that, I, I also wear earplugs then. Or if I'm working with my dad, for example, and we're using loud tools, I'm always, always wearing earplugs. Um, you know, another example, I like to make smoothies. I really enjoy smoothies, and I use one of these Nutra Ninjas. It's, it's kind of like a magic bullet, you know, same concept. It's just like a little blender thing. And... So I make up my smoothie and when I stick it on the, you know, the grinder and I start grinding, I always plug my ears when I do that too. So I would say I am just like hypersensitive to protecting my ears because I rely on it so much. And I realize it might be a little bit extreme, but you know what? If I don't protect my ears from all these small things like the vacuum, the, the blender, uh, the shop vac, you know, tools like that or just these loud noises, if I don't protect my ears at some point, I could diminish my, my hearing just a little bit or just enough that could possibly distort my, my life even a little bit more, make it a little bit more difficult. So, um, you know, as somebody that has very limited vision, I rely on my other senses, particularly my hearing, uh, just to give me guidance for what's going on in the world around me or telling you my surroundings or um, recognize voices. You know, I realize it, it might seem a little bit ridiculous to think that, oh, just a little bit of hearing loss probably wouldn't affect um, my recognition of voices. But I would actually think it could probably potentially um, distort voices just enough that I may not know who they are. For example, people that I may not see regularly all the time, like extended family or um, friends, you know, just not even seeing somebody all that often and you hear their voice maybe once every six months, it's like, oh yeah, okay, maybe their voice has changed a little bit or, you know, whatever. So I feel like it's really important to protect your hearing. So I think that anyway, and that's what I do. I, I'm always practicing, um, you know, just protecting my hearing. So... Like I said, I was vacuuming earlier today and I was wearing my earplugs and <laughs> Corey was trying to talk to me and I was like, oh, I can't hear you. How convenient. Well, then it actually didn't turn out to be all that funny because she was getting frustrated with me when I was pretending like I couldn't hear. Um, I actually couldn't hear her all that well, but it was still kind of funny when I just pretended like I couldn't. So um, she'll probably see this in the video and think, Matt, I can't believe you said that. So anyway, I'll probably get in trouble. Uh, I'll probably actually get in trouble twice as twice as much because I just said I'll get in trouble. So anyway, it's kind of funny. So anyway, I'm curious to know for all of you with RP or low vision or uh, blind, you know, with the exception of your hearing, well, obviously I think that you probably rely on your hearing the most, but what other senses do you use and you rely on 
um, to kind of give you a guide for your surroundings. And also, do you do or do you go through these um, practices as far as protecting your hearing with earplugs or plugging your ears when in loud situations? Um, you know, I also I also like to just completely avoid loud situations. For example, I don't go to concerts. Uh, I enjoy music. I enjoy loud, loud or live music and loud music. But to me, it's not worth it. It's not worth going to a loud concert and then uh, you know walking out of there and literally not being able to hear. I've been to concerts in my life, and I'm sure all of you have too. And it's weird because you walk out of it, and it's like you're yelling to the person that you're with because it's like you can't hear anything. So to me even though I enjoy it and I'd like to do those things, it's just not worth it to me to go and potentially uh, destroy, not destroy, but to hurt my ears a little bit, um, just because I rely on it so much, my hearing. So let me know. Let me know if you uh, take any of these preven preventative actions um, to protect your hearing. So like I said, Corey and I are leaving tomorrow morning early to go on vacation. So I just want to throw another little note in here that if you're commenting on any of our videos between now and for the next week or eight or nine days or so, if we don't respond at, in, in that amount of time, don't take it personally. Um, we're, we're only going to have you know limited um, internet access. We will have internet access, but um, we're just going to have it on Corey's phone, so I won't have like my computer or anything like that. So um, we'll get back to you eventually. It could take, like I said, eight or nine or ten days or so to get back to you, but uh, we'll definitely respond to any comments that you leave. So otherwise, stay tuned to the channel. We're going to be uploading quite a few videos over the next week and a half or so from our vacation. Um, actually, tomorrow morning we're going to be flying down to San Juan, Puerto Rico. And then we're going to be getting on a cruise ship and going around to, let's see, how many islands are we going to? Four islands. We're going to Aruba, Curacao, St. Kitts, St. Martin, and then back to San Juan after a couple days or after a few days. So we're really excited to get down there and just get out of the cold weather here in Minnesota and uh, just enjoy some hot sun and the ocean and the beach. That's all we plan on doing, just hanging out on the beach. That's what we absolutely love to do. So anyway, stay tuned, follow our journey. We are going to have quite a few videos uploaded. And also, if you're interested, check out my Instagram. It's the same as my channel name on here, blind to billionaire uh, Check that out. We'll probably be uploading quite a few, or not uploading, but uh, posting quite a few photos on there throughout the vacation as well. So thanks again for all of your support to all of you. I really appreciate it. And we've just had a huge influx of subscribers and comments lately. It's just been so much fun talking to all of you who have been on the channel for quite a few months here and all of the new people who have been joining and we've been getting to know. It's been just such a fun experience getting to know you, talking, um, just learning more about you. So thanks again. I sincerely appreciate your support. Stay tuned and I will see you again in a future video. And uh, thanks again for your support. See you soon.